If you're trying to start a family, there's an important number to keep in mind. When women reach the age of 35, they're considered to be an advanced maternal age. Now, that means pregnancy can carry extra risks for both mom and baby. Now, some of those might include developing gestational diabetes and high blood pressure, or even delivering a baby with low birth weight or chromosome abnormalities. Uh, but a new study suggests that it's not just the women's age that's the only thing that matters. Older men becoming fathers can also carry some health risks. So Dr. Parviz Kavusi is joining us today. He's a urologist, a reproductive urologist at St. Yes. David's South Austin Medical Center. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm very interested to hear about this new study um, because I've always heard that a man's age doesn't matter at right. all. And this is telling us otherwise. That's right. And so you're exactly right. We've always thought about the female factors in maternal age and the impact on the child or risks. And now there's more data that's telling us that male factor may be uh, important as well. So in this study, they took a huge database where they looked at all the documented births from 2007 to 2016 in the United States, which was greater than 40.5 million births mm -hmm. that were documented. And they looked at paternal age to see what risks may be associated with that. What they found was actually that 9% of births were to couples where the father was 40 years of age or older. And so what they sought to look at were risks like preterm uh, delivery, mm -hmm. um, lower birth weights, APGAR scores, so the score determining the health of the baby at the time of birth, risks of gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, eclampsia for mom, and was there a higher rate that the baby ends up in the neonatal ICU? So there aren't perfect cutoffs on the age, and there are some limitations to every study, but what they found was that the age of 45 and above, when the father was 45 and older, they did see a 14% higher incidence of preterm delivery, and they found that the birth weight was lower when fathers were 45 years of age or older, but when you look at the number, it's about a 0.7 ounce lower birth weight on average, okay. and they found lower APGAR scores, but the APGAR scores, or the health of the baby really, was more associated with fathers that were 55 and older, as was the need to have the, the baby go into the neonatal ICU. We really saw that more often in fathers 55 and older. We did see about um, a 28% higher incidence of gestational diabetes in the mother when the father was 45 or older, and there was no difference in preeclampsia or eclampsia rates. So some risks were not found to be very significant, and some mm -hmm. maybe. Now, again, just like every study, there are some limitations to this, and where they did the best they could to stratify out other issues, like were the father smokers, were the mothers older, um, they couldn't stratify for all the factors. So we also need to understand, and the, the folks that had these issues, either in babies or mom, at the time of conception, were there other risks for the older men? Were they overly obese? Were they uh, using excessive alcohol, polysubstance abuse? Did they have anatomic factors like varicoceles, dilated veins around the testicles that actually damage the DNA in the head of the sperm? Wow. So there's all sorts of other factors that could contribute besides just advanced paternal age, and these are things that we still need to sort out. So overall, the study showed some increased risk, even in their study, in their discussion, they say it's a mild to moderate increased risk. So it's us raising an eyebrow to say, okay, these are things we need to look at more from a public health standpoint as we're seeing men wait longer to become mm -hmm, fathers. Mm -hmm. Something people definitely want to be aware of. Is there anything that couples can do to potentially decrease their risks? So one is if there's a concern being evaluated. Um, one, we can look for things like the anatomic varicoceles that we talked about. There's something we can fix surgically and a lot of times improve the DNA of sperm cells if they have elevated fragmentation in those cells. Modifying lifestyle factors, diet, exercise, no tobacco, minimizing alcohol, no polysubstance use. Things that we can do from a lifestyle standpoint to try to optimize these sensitive cells are the best things to do. And then for couples that are the fathers in that age range, Certainly, you know, preconception counseling, genetic counseling are good options. Yeah, all good to know. Thank you so much. Things for people to think about. We yes. appreciate you being here with Thank us today, Doctor. Thank you for having Doctor. me. Yeah.